What's up guys, Tony Hannity's here from Lazy Tech TV and I guess I've already started a mini series on tech or gear for you up and coming vloggers out there. And today we're gonna talk about a tripod and not just any old tripod, the Eye Stabilizer Spiderflex. It's pretty cool, stay tuned. So if you watch famous vloggers like Casey Neistat, John Hill, I Justine, I mean a lot of them use something called the Joby Gorilla Pod. And with no disrespect to those vloggers whatsoever and no disrespect to Joby, that for me wasn't the perfect solution for my tripod needs. My first tripod was actually a mini tripod. This guy by Sunpack. For what it was, it worked. But we've moved on. If you haven't seen the Joby Gorilla Pod, this is what it looks like. Every little bit can be articulated so you can have the camera at the end positioned in such a way whatever position you want it to be. And that sounds great, but there's too many moving pieces that can break. And with the eye stabilizer Spiderflex, that solves all the issues. And each of the three legs is basically a completely bendable, malleable cord that you can put into any direction whatsoever. And what's really nice about the Spider Flex when you get it from my stabilizer, there's already a mount made for your smartphone. And I've gone through a number of smartphones for vlogging, trying out the HTC 10, the LG G4, and the Google Pixel XL, and guess what? This fits all of them. And then when you finally fully upgrade to an actual camera that requires a tripod mount, you just unscrew this guy and it's a regular tripod mount. And for you vloggers out there or for you individuals out there that just want to use a GoPro, they actually come with a GoPro adapter. So pretty much the guys from iStabilizer have thought of almost everything. Even the top can be swaying to any angle that you want. So it can be leaning to the left or leaning to the right. It is very lightweight. It's not too top heavy. One of the greatest things about this kind of material, this rubberized material that's in each of the legs, there's a lot of grip. We've been getting a lot of rain in the past few days here in California, which is weird. This water falling from the sky. But in any event, being in the rain with my camera, which I don't recommend but when you do this won't fall out of your hands it's really nice to have that kind of feature but the spider flex doesn't come with its own faults this little housing here is plastic so over time I can definitely imagine that one of the legs is gonna fall out and I've seen this with the Joby Gorilla Pod, and that one's a much more quote unquote upscale or at least more expensive tripod. And if it's gonna fall out there, I can definitely see it falling out here because of how this plastic housing can be over time. Plus on the bottom here, because this is rubberized, the nubs or the feet of all of the legs will start to wear down. I'm already noticing that each of the three feet are wearing down even after using it for about two months now. And if you've got OCD a little bit like me, but definitely like my wife, don't tell her I said this, these legs can maybe bother you if you don't straighten them every single time. I know some of you are like, that doesn't seem like a big, who cares, it's not a big deal. Well, it kinda is if you need perfectly straight legs to make sure that your camera is perfectly level to the ground. And arguably, you can move this to match the parallel of the ground too if you want, but just having perfectly straight legs is more of an aesthetic, pleasing kind of thing to the eye. And, and uh, just that, like this right now, it's not straight. I don't care, but I know some people will. And speaking about being level to the ground, I know there's some cameras that had gyroscopes and accelerometers to let you know if it is actually level to the ground, but it would be nice just to have on the actual eye stabilizer itself some sort of bubble level, maybe the circle one, something. So you can eyeball it without having to use the digital tools inside the camera. So for the fact it comes with pretty much everything you need starting out, you've got the tripod, you've got the mobile mount, you've got the adapter for the GoPro, you have almost everything you would need for a mobile tripod. So take a look at that 
iStabilizer.com. I highly recommend it. I put my stamp of approval on it. This is not paid by them. They did provide me with that hardware at CES 2017, but this is not sponsored video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, please thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, leave all your comments and questions in the section below. Make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus. We're not, are we doing? We're not doing that. And lastly, if you could do me a favor in the section below, let me know what you guys think about this whole lighting situation. Is it better than previous videos that you've seen? And if so, give me a double thumbs up. If you can, at least like the, emo the emoji with the thumb and the cutoff hand, like that one, do that one. I appreciate it. You guys take care, late.